Hello everybody, Plant Assassin here. It is the end of May and I am out in uh, some of the sagebrush grassland area here in Idaho. I've come across a rarer plant. They're not endangered, but they are fairly uncommon, at least in my experience. So this is a white mariposa lily and uh, so mariposa means butterfly in Spanish. You can see why they, they call them a butterfly lily because when the wind blows I just kind of wave back and forth and if you see a hillside of them it looks like a bunch of butterflies moving. So locally, these are also called seagull lilies, but they are not the same species as the, uh, the kind you read about in like the Mormon uh, settler books where they, uh, they would eat them. These also produce a edible bulb. <clears throat> if you uh, go back and look, I have another video on one of the bulbs. It shows about the size of them. These have a smaller bulb. If you read the accounts, you'll read that uh, they were about the size of a walnut. I've never found one that size before. You can see that they vary from white to some of these have a uh, more pinkish, purplish hue to them. See, there's a pollinator insect in there. A couple more over here. See these haven't opened up yet, but these are a little bit smaller. There's a little one right there. So these are edible, but I've never tried them myself. I Somebody I spoke with said they were edible, but they were largely tasteless. So I've never uh, dug them up there. I just don't come across them that often, so I don't feel comfortable digging them up. There's actually more out here than it looks like. For example, here's, a, here's one that I'll open up in a few days. And then here's a little one right here. There's another one. So there's actually more here in this stand than it looks like. It's actually, it's just kind of an area right here along the fence and uh, dirt road. There's a few, few more up there. So as far as habit goes, there's just kind of the native bunch grasses, some camas. Loatium. There's a uh, kind of the bluegrass out here too. So they're really pretty flower, just not as common as they used to be. Now, part of the reason for that is because of grazing, uh, widespread use of uh, herbicides. <clears throat> also, they used to run pigs a lot out in the west, and the pigs would root and uh, root up the bulbs and eat them. So the other thing too is the uh, fires, um, they don't burn as much anymore. We control the fires. And so when the fires would come through, they'd burn out the competition and they'd be much more, uh, much more of the lilies sprouting after a fire. So now the Native Americans tended these if you read the uh, like a lot of the early reports, um, they would purposely set fire to the land. It's, it's similar to what they do with camas and yarrow and excuse me, not yarrow, but yampa and a bunch of the other edible uh, bulbs that you find out here in these grassland areas. So that just doesn't happen as much anymore, and the plants that are more dependent on the the fire um, 
cycle that used to naturally happen they just uh, they don't compete as well so as a result we have a lot less of them but I you know, kind of letting it taking here the winds slightly blowing got like a little breeze so I'm just trying to get a you see the leaves and the uh, the petals of the lilies kind of float back and forth as the breeze goes so. there are several species here in Idaho this is the only one that I've uh, I've found I've looked for the other ones supposedly there's two other species that are in this general vicinity but I've never been able to find them but this is a white mariposa lily has an edible bulb plant assassin if you found this video informative please like and subscribe